when things are going wrong, mm -hmm. it's always for some reason looked at like it's the man's fault. He did something wrong. Mm -hmm. He's the reason why he's he's not there mm -hmm. or this and that. Sometimes the man gets driven out of the situation, mm -hmm. whether he makes that decision or he's really pushed out. Okay. But it never gets looked at. What did he have to deal with? Even when, when every time, even if there's a, there's a, there's an abuse or a fight or a domestic mm -hmm. situation, mm -hmm. people hate to look at it from a real perspective. I'm sorry, I, I don't think a man or they. Uh, uh, I don't think there's a saying. relationship. I'm not even going to just say a man because okay. woman. I'm I, I'm going to see that say this because <clears throat> now that I'm older and I see we've never been physical with each other. Mm -hmm. First of all, but I did. I have noticed that. A lot of physical things start from the woman. Mm -hmm. Some, not a, yeah, a lot because a woman will hit the man or mm -hmm. push them or do certain things to them, and then when they eventually be like, "Yo, stop, stop pushing them back," and getting them away, and they have to hit them or push them, the everyone takes the woman's side, even though they mm -hmm. don't realize the woman was hitting, jumping, doing all this stuff to right. them. Um, go ahead, sorry. I so I was just uh, saying when. When a man reacts, mm -hmm. whether he, he, he puts his hand on her mm -hmm. or he, he, he might smash something or flip mm -hmm. it, anything, mm -hmm. it's always looked at like he, he, he's out of Nuts. control and yeah. that's not acceptable. Yeah. But I always say if always. this person, now there's a difference. There are some men who's just, they're violent. They're, they're, they're f abusers. Right. Yeah. And it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But most guys who are not like that. Mm -hmm. I always say if he if 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 he if he re, if, if something happened, what put them in that position? Mm -hmm. What made them react that way? Mm -hmm. I say the same thing with women. I say mm -hmm. the same thing. Period. Yeah. In situations, yeah. if you're not known for doing that, yeah, then clearly you came out of character right. for a reason. So how did you get there? Yeah. And that can't be overlooked. And that's something with society, people won't address that. Okay. So my thing is. You have to look at situations, and, and th there has to be equal amounts of accountability. Can I, mm -hmm. You cannot always say to a man, you should have just walked away, or you should have done this, or you should have done that. You should have taken all of the abuse, whether physically, verbally, or whatever. From a woman. And just deal with it and walk away and not react, not get upset, not do anything. I can understand getting upset. My thing is that I, I always feel like if a woman hits a man, it's not the same thing as a man hitting a woman. You guys are stronger. But, you guys. What does that mean though? But is that, what does it mean? But does it mean if you're, if, if a man's being attacked, mm -hmm. what is he supposed to do? If a man, Defend himself if a man, off, if a man but, gets hit, mm -hmm. what is he supposed to do? Now it doesn't matter See, this is a universal thing. It doesn't matter who's stronger. I think it matters. It doesn't. Okay. If a, if a smaller woman walks up to you, another grown woman, but she's smaller than you, mm -hmm. and she punches you in her face. I'm going to punch her right back. So, I don't care so, how tall or how big or how small she is. Okay. Okay. So I kind of get it, but it's still... A man hitting but, a smaller woman. That's that's not the same because your strength. But it's, it has nothing to do with the strength. It's about respect. You, hold I agree. on, hold on. So what, what society says is a woman does not have to have enough restraint within herself to hit someone else. But when she hits them, that person or, or does whatever to push his buttons, he is still not supposed to react. Now, do you teach your son that? Go out no. into the world, let this man that's smaller than you punch you in your face, beat you up, rob you, disrespect you, disrespect your mother, mm -hmm. and you do nothing because this person's smaller? Yeah. Where else in the world does that make sense? So within that same guideline, that means that the woman can do anything. Let's say she's not even hitting you, mm -hmm. but let's say it just, it's just setting an example of she can do anything to mm -hmm. you and you're supposed to take it. Right. You are not supposed to defend yourself. I understand defending yourself and holding the person and stopping, right? And stopping what you're... Hold. I understand... Um, first of all, I don't think a woman should hit a man. Because if, if you don't want the man to bust you up, don't put your hands on them. That's like a really big deal. I, I, I don't... You and I have never done it, and that's just because of the respect... But if you have to get so mad and come out of character that you feel like you have to see your woman, your man and punch him in the face 
Or you as a man have to hit your woman because you're totally out of character, then there's something seriously wrong with that relationship. However, I still don't agree with a man hitting a woman. I think a man should walk away. If the woman is acting stupid, run away, get away from them, or, con- um, or you know, hold them, keep them away from you. Keep them away from you. I mean, I but women can get wild though. It's kind of, you know what? I I can't really relate to that because the thought of even being physical with you is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. okay. So let me ask you this: What again? It goes back to where is the personal responsibility? I think that woman, if you don't want to get hit <clears throat> or be in that situation. Control yourself and keep your hands to yourself. I do believe that. I do believe women need to take responsibility for their so, temperament with their man and have respect for the person they're with. Here's another thing. I've seen women pick up objects and hit men with. Glosses. Right? Yes. So uh, even in those situations, mm-hmm. okay, first of all, you can't say that because a woman is, is smaller than you mm-hmm. and, and not as strong as you, that if she's hitting you, it doesn't hurt. Okay. That's one thing. So you, you people forget, not only does, does it physically and emotionally, it hurts, but you're being attacked, you're being assaulted. Mm-hmm. That whole thing gets, gets, gets tossed out. People don't look at it as you're, you're assaulting this man, okay. you're attacking him, you're beating him, whatever the case is. Yeah. It, it just gets minimized. Oh, she's smaller than you. So it's like, oh, it doesn't hurt. Just take it. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. It's still wrong either way. I agree so with that. you can't say... You can't say that the man who's defending himself in this situation or just reacts. So let's say the woman slaps the man Mm -hmm. and he he reacts and slaps her back. Mm -hmm. It's a split second reaction. Right. You're not even thinking. Right. You, how do you say he's wrong? You should have never put your hands on him. And I guess that's where the problem is, um, where there is a, there is a separation between man and woman, because if a if a woman hits a man, It's not looked at the same way if a man hits a woman, even if the woman attacked him first right. and they have to do everything they can there's no, there's to get no away from the guy. There's no universal accountability. No, so there's let, not. Here's other things that I've seen, and this doesn't get spoken about. Mm-hmm. I've been in a situation where a woman le- wouldn't let me leave. Mm. She's literally blocking the door. Mm-hmm. She's six feet tall like I am. Mm-hmm. She wasn't a small woman. Mm-hmm. I'm literally being held hostage or mm-hmm. captive. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. Mm-hmm. Now, if you, if you think that's a joke, mm-hmm. let a man do that. Mm-hmm. Let a woman say, I'm leaving, mm-hmm. and the man stands by the okay. door and say, you're not going nowhere. Okay. She can literally, he can literally be arrested mm-hmm. for holding yeah. her hostage. Okay. That's kidnapping. Yeah. So, so, wait, mm-hmm. wait, wait. So why, when in the, in the opposite situation, mm-hmm. it, it's okay? So in that situation, there was nobody there to help me. Right. There was nobody there I can call. There was mm-hmm. nobody there to assist me. And then, you, but you could have taken, you could have knocked her out if you needed to. Right. But but, but, you, but uh-huh. listen, what happened is I ended up having to wrestle her mm-hmm. away from the door mm-hmm. so that I can get out. Now that in itself, what is a got woman's you in trouble? Yes, because what does a woman start doing? She starts yelling, screaming, she starts making noise, mm-hmm. and then people hear you guys wrestling. You mm-hmm. hear her screaming, mm-hmm. and then what happens? It's no matter what happens. Yeah, okay. It's he was doing something to her. I and then at it. that point, do you think if somebody comes running, do you think usually she's going to say, no, it was me. I, was, I wasn't I was allowing him to leave. And he had to literally, he had no choice after 40 minutes right. yanking me away from the door. Yeah, and okay. I was still resisting. You're right. So it got physical. Right. What kind of change do you think needs to be done? Do you think that it needs well, to be wait, an wait, even? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go First ahead. First of all, this, this, this is my thing in this situation. Mm-hmm. At that situation, I was already at that point when that happened mm-hmm. that I, I was done. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was leaving. Right. And it was, I was like, it's over. I, I wasn't mm-hmm. accepting certain things. Right. And that's why she wasn't letting me leave. Oh, okay. Okay. So once I left. Mm-hmm. That was, was it. Gone. She it was knew that was it. Yeah. But <clears throat> one thing, people don't set their standards where mm-hmm. it's like, all right, this is too much. I'm out. Yeah. They keep going back. Yeah. But at the same time, what if either I was a different person mm-hmm. or it just didn't work. Mm-hmm. At some point, I might have had to hurt her. Mm-hmm. I might have had to body slam her mm-hmm. or throw her in a headlock mm-hmm. or a chokehold. Mm-hmm. That part gets overlooked. So now... God, oh, I'm glad that I'm not. I don't do this. <laughs> hold on. So under under that, under that circumstance, mm-hmm. right? Again, she was just as tall as me. Mm-hmm. 
and she had sides on her. Mm -hmm. So technically, we're, let's just say we're the same size. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, even if she's not physically as strong as me, mm -hmm. a woman that that big mm -hmm. is strong. Is strong, okay. So now think about that situation. If she was to cock back and punch me in the face, mm -hmm. you think that's not going to hurt? Mm -hmm. You think she doesn't have the ability to not... Think about your mother. Your mother's oh, tall. Oh, sure. Let's not talk about my mother. So, so think about someone that size. If she goes off in a rage, you think she can't beat up a man? Okay. My mom is six feet. So under those situations, whether whether she's she's attacking a man, let's say she's with a man that's mm -hmm. that's that's smaller than her, mm -hmm. and she's going off on him. Now in that situation, what is the man supposed to do? In that situation, he's literally fighting for his life because mm -hmm. she could literally kill him. Because at that yeah, point, well, it, it's a, it's about it, it's not about man and woman. Uh -huh. It's about size and strength. Yeah. Okay. And if somebody's physically bigger than you, yeah. they're usually physically stronger than you. Sometimes. Right, but mm -hmm. usually mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. If if the woman is physically bigger and weighs more, okay, she's probably stronger than. Well, him. we've seen people like that online that beat the crap. They're bigger woman right. beating the crap out of their man. So I, another thing, I had a neighbor back in the days. Mm -hmm. I used to watch them. They'd get into it. Mm -hmm. She would do all types of shit. She'd back him down with a knife. Mm -hmm. She she'd be beating on him, doing, and he never ever did anything. Mm -hmm. She brutalized this man repeatedly, oh, man. Mm -hmm. and he never did anything. Mm -hmm. The average person is not going to go for all of yeah. that. So if, at, at some point, I even watched her. He was leaving. She took something and threw it through. This is one. This is why I told you. This is why I always close the, the sunroof. Uh huh. Because I always think of if something falls and hits it, whether it's a tree branch yeah, or something, yeah. the 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 thing cracking. Yeah. And and the glass coming through. Yeah. She threw something out at his car mm -hmm. and cracked the... It didn't shatter it, mm -hmm. but it cracked the sunroof. Wow. All he was trying to do was leave. Yeah, yeah. And so my thing is, there's situations that people don't like to acknowledge. Yeah. And in that situation, if he would have hit her after being stabbed and kicked down the stairs and all this shit, yeah. what do you expect? Well, you know what's so funny? There, There's... um, There's... Okay, so there's a girl mm -hmm. that... It was abusive to her guy, right? Mm -hmm. So what they would do is, for whatever reason, she found out something. <laughs> she found out something about the guy, right? And um, she went to the, his house, and she decided to, they got into a little something, and she stabbed him, like in his spleen or whatever. At least that's what I was told, that she stabbed him. Now, their relationship has been unhealthy for, like, forever, forever, right? And um, he, she stabs him. He's in the hospital, but for some reason they got back together, right? I don't know. I'm only hearing one side of the story, and I'm hearing that side from someone that is a liar. So I don't exactly... I don't exactly know how the whole story goes, but I have heard of women actually stabbing or shooting or whatever the man because they got into something. My thing is that why go back into that relationship if it's so abusive the with the reason, woman? The same reason why women do it. Mm -hmm. Cause like there, there are all types of reasons, but it's some insecurity. emotional, it's some emotional issue where you keep going back to that, to that, to mm -hmm. that, that situation mm -hmm. keep going back. Yeah. It's, it's something wrong with that person. Yeah. It's the same thing. Men, I, men, ha men do the same shit. Men, yeah. men are at times are uh, attracted to toxic relationships. relationships and yeah. People. And at the same time, men also the same way women do. Mm -hmm. They, they, they try to hold out thinking, okay, maybe this person's going to change. Yeah. Cause they probably really want to be with that person. Right. Now, another thing, what I've seen a lot where this same particular person I was talking about, he had a kid with this woman. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times men will put up with shit to be there for their kid. Right. And we, I, we've right. seen that with different people. Yeah. And I but, definitely, but that never gets quality. addressed. Yeah. So even in those situations where you see the men going through certain yeah. stuff and people will say, yo, you're an idiot. Yeah. Get out of there. Yeah. But you don't realize he's, he's staying there for his kid. He also, you know what I wonder? <laughs> I wonder if, um, I've always wondered this question. If sometimes a guy said he's not leaving because of his kids, right? And sometimes they have a whole relationship outside of it. Is it, I wonder if it's, is it because he doesn't trust 
the woman alone with the kid or is it just because he just wants to be there? It's both. If, if you, you know the sometimes they know the woman's not right. She might really have some issues. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they know that. So it's like, I can't just leave you with the kid. Yeah. But, but it's that plus a, majority. a person that is, is a real father. Mm hmm. He wants to be there for his kid, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He knows he needs to be there. Yeah. So again, that part always gets overlooked. Right. This is why I always say to you when you see men go in the court, mm -hmm. even I, I've seen domestic fights where, the, mm -hmm. where the, the, the man is beating up the woman, mm -hmm. fighting her, mm -hmm. overseeing his kid. And people always like, yeah. yo, see, that's why you don't need to see your kids. No, if the man wasn't passionate about yeah. being a father, yeah. he wouldn't be fighting, fighting and arguing with and the And the whole woman. reason why he's in that situation is mm -hmm. because she's restricting his access to see his kids and to be a father. Okay, and I wait, think- Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. So a deadbeat is never going to be in a situation where he's fighting the woman over a kid. Mm -hmm. He's arguing with the woman over the mm -hmm. kid. He's, he's, he's repeatedly saying and begging, mm -hmm. let me see my kids. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be going back and forth to court fighting a custody mm -hmm. battle or, or getting partial visitation I if he's agree. a deadbeat. But it always gets twisted like he's a deadbeat. Mm -hmm. But no man who's a deadbeat is going to fight for their kids. kids. You know what's so funny is that I was, I, I was t like, I grew up. My mom was always like this strong, powerful. I'm the woman. I'm, I, I know I hold everything down, which she did. Mm -hmm. Right. And we'd never been in a situation where they, you know, the guy didn't want to, um, she would stop someone from being with their kid, seeing their kid. And, um, I think that a lot of women do it. And please, if any woman out there say I'm wrong, I haven't been in this situation. I believe a woman behaves like that sometimes if the guy has cheated and left you for another woman. If, um, if, let me see, like, um, if they're mad about something, usually I think it's sometimes about cheating or if they leave you for another woman or something like that and they use the kids against them. Um, it's not because they're a bad father. It's just because they're not with them anymore. I know this, and this is from people, you know, I, I, I've seen it. They're not around the, the man and them is not together anymore. They did not break up on good terms. So they hold the kids against them. That's just damn wrong. That is wrong. When it comes to, I, I have to say this about women. If you're doing that, Cut that crap out or just find something else to do with yourself. If you and the guy does not get along, but this guy is a good father and this guy wants to be there for their child, it's not about you. It's not about you. You guys are no longer together. It's about that kid. And that makes me so upset. And that's why I know who you're talking about. That's why that's one of the things that I admire him for is that he was fighting for his kid, but it got to a point where, you know, he has a new family now and he still was fighting for his kid, but he still wasn't winning that battle. It was just so much. And he wanted to be a part of the kid's life. And the, the woman still did everything and complained about everything, even though he wanted to be there and he was trying to be there. You get what I'm saying? So I just feel like I just feel like, um, where, where, why do women do that? Cause I couldn't, because, because I couldn't think about doing that. It's because I honestly can say from a woman's perspective, I feel like they're being, they're being selfish. Yes. If that's you change your damn ways. I feel like they're being selfish. Right. And I feel like they don't, it's not about the kids at all. It's about them. Yeah, it is. But they're not with you anymore. It doesn't mean that they don't want to be with their kid. Right. That's but not fair. That that's that's the way they 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 use to, con, you know, as as a control method. Right. It's a way they use to get back at the guy. Right. You know, that's how they they use it I to hurt the guy. That. They they you they know if the guy see this is another thing, you can't use that mm -hmm. as a as a as a way to hurt the guy mm -hmm. if the guy doesn't care. Right. So right. again, that's something that gets overlooked. Okay. If the guy yeah. cares and he wants to be a father yeah. or a parent, yep. 
you it, how are you going to stop that what, what why all of a sudden what well, you know what honestly if it's an abusive guy and we're not on that but let me just throw that out there if the guy is abusive and the woman is concerned about her kids right. being with this guy that's when i can understand but there, there's still a slightly and and, and we gotta i gotta say every situation is different it's different right sometimes and i i gotta preface this because people are not going to hear me sometimes mm-hmm even if the guy is abusive, abusive towards the woman, mm-hmm. it has nothing to do with the way he is towards his kids. Right. Because sometimes they say, the kid, I'm not sorry to cut you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they say, does your dad hit you? Does he do that? And they'd be like, no, he doesn't. Right. But s- some people are come out with their relationship comes out of character. Right. And it's between them. It has. It's not the kids. Right. But go ahead. And a lot of times it's their toxic um ways yeah so a lot of times again and again not every situation Mm -hmm. but i'm talking about things that i've seen Mm -hmm. there's times when the guy may be abusive Mm -hmm. but it's 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 a product of their collective relationship Mm -hmm. that means she does things whether it's physically or verbally to push his buttons it's i've seen women countlessly over times say the foulest most i've seen it things too. and they know it's gonna set it's him gonna off it's gonna hurt and they too. won't stop until they, they get a reaction yeah. yeah and they'll push they'll push they'll push they'll push and they'll do it just to get that negative reaction and then when they get the negative reaction <laughs> what they the do victim. they're playing the victim and then they're, they're trying to slander this guy and and say see he's a bad guy he's this and that 